Hi, my name is Brenda Felsing, and we're here at the Season Kitchen in Flagstaff, Arizona, where I teach cooking lessons. I'll have to tell you, one of my favorite ingredients is Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't use anything but, and obviously I have to buy it in bulk. I use so much of it. I absolutely love it. What we're going to make today is green chili chicken enchilada soup. And I decided that we are going to rename it Green Chili Philly Soup because really the Philadelphia cream cheese is what makes it. It's my secret ingredient. So let's get started. What this, the way this uh, soup came about was that my mom used to make the best green chili chicken enchiladas. And the soup was the base. And I have to tell you that the base was almost completely eaten by the time she got to make the enchilada casserole. So, she decided to make double batches, and from that I started developing this soup, and it's so popular. It's a huge hit. It's a little bit of prep, several ingredients, but it's fully worth it. Just, uh, you know, don't start making it unless you want everybody to ask you for it time after time. It's absolutely wonderful. So what we have, um, I have a pot of chicken stock boiling. You can use a... Uh, Four, what I have is four cups, and if you would rather use a bot chicken broth, use the low sodium. I like boiling a chicken in the broth and making my own broth that way, but you don't have to. Um, you can also use just plain chicken breast. Uh, it works either way. This soup has so much flavor, it's going to be great either way. So we have that going right here. And then let me show you my ingredients. There are quite a few ingredients here, but it's easy because there are equal amounts of everything so that you can um, duplicate this recipe very, very easily. Um, what I like to do is get my pan nice and hot and add my butter. We have two tablespoons of butter here. You can never have too much butter. Looks like maybe I cut off a little bit more than two tablespoons, but that's okay. What we're going to add to it is a cup of onions, a cup of celery, and a cup of mushrooms. And we're just going to get that a little toss. Let it saute a little bit down. Get nice and, and uh, caramelized there to add to our soup. Back here is my stock, and it is getting, it is already warm. And to that, we are going to add the remaining ingredients. I add a tablespoon of fresh minced garlic, a cup of my chicken breast that, once again, I had cooked in there, a cup of cilantro, a cup of green chili, my favorite. I'm a New Mexico girl. We like our green chili down there. And what brings out the flavor of green chili? A little filling. I'll tell you that right now. Then our secret ingredients here are, uh, these are uh, corn chips and crushed up in your soup will add a lot of flavor and it also thickens it nicely. So we're going to add that. Now for the cheese, I like to add something that melts really, really well. The American cheese, you know, you can take the girl out of New Mexico, but you can't take New Mexico out of the girl. We like our, we like our uh, Velveeta and our Plano American cheese. So uh, you can add other kinds of cheeses. They're probably just not going to uh, melt quite as well. The last two things I have is sour cream. I like a cup of sour cream in there. And then, of course, last but not least, our Philly cream cheese. We have eight ounces of that. So what I like to use for my Mexican ingredients, I like to make them all ahead of time and just put it all together because I use equal parts of uh, Mexican oregano, cumin, onion powder, seasoned salt, and um, we mix that all together. Oh, and granulated garlic, excuse me. And what I have is two teaspoons of each of those items in here. We're going to add that as our seasoning. I think that that's one of the mistakes a lot of people make is they don't add enough seasoning to their soup. They're trying to add too much water. And it takes a lot of good ingredients to make a good soup. And our 
The edgings are just about done here. We're going to add those right in. This takes just a little bit of time to thicken. What you have through the magic of video, video, our soup has been simmering on low for just about 20 minutes and you don't want to boil it. You don't want to boil it with any kind of cream products in it. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is add my evaporated milk and you add an entire can of that. Just stir it in and incorporate that. Uh, you can also, it's kind of a personal preference. If you want to cook everything except for the cream products and add those all in right now, and cook it for a little bit, you can do that. The big thing is that your veggies are tender, but you're gonna have that good roasted flavor um, from all of the, the broth and, and all the uh, different ingredients. It's not gonna lack flavor and feel like it needs to be cooked for another two hours. So, what we have is this gorgeous, thick, hearty soup. It can be a starter or an entree. I love serving it as an entree because what I do is I put some condiments on the side and people get to uh, add their own little toppings. I call it a soup bar. A little bit of fresh cilantro. There's no substitute. Um, some, uh, some tomatoes for color. A little bit more tortillas chips for crunch. And of course, I also love a little bit of fresh avocado in here. It's wonderful. Now who would not want to take a bite of this delicious soup. I hope you like it. Everyone that I serve it to loves it. It's been a secret recipe for a long time. I've shared it with a few people, but now everyone on your website gets to try it, and it's spectacular. Here's to you, Philly. Mm -hmm. Yum.